So if you've ever experienced hormonal acne, you know it totally sucks. I mean, let alone when that time of the month comes around, the last thing you want is to look in the mirror and find another buddy that is just tagging along for the ride. So today I wanna to talk about hormonal acne and why you might be breaking out more around the time, that time of the month. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Danny. I am a holistic nutritionist and I specialize in acne and gut health. And let's talk hormonal acne. So a lot of times for us ladies who get our very special friend that time of the month, we can tend to see more breakouts happen on our face, on our back, on our chest, on our shoulders. Um, and truthfully, it's just kind of something that I think people have accepted as just, oh, that's part of like my PMS or, oh, that's just part of my cycle. But it can give you a little bit of insight as to how your body is actually processing the hormones that are going on inside of your body, especially around that time of the month. So if we just look at physiologically what the body is doing, when you're about to have your period, your immune system is actually kind of going down. Um, just because your body is about to really do a lot, it's about to do a lot of things. <laughs> um, and so oftentimes our immune system can get a little bit weaker just because it has to put a lot more energy and efficiency into getting our bodies prepped for releasing an egg and possibly getting pregnant or not. So that can lead to breakouts simply by say a virus being inside of your body that is basically um, sitting and waiting for when your immune system gets a little bit lower to kind of attack and it can come out in the form of a blemish because your body's trying to get rid of the virus or your body's trying to get rid of some sort of bacteria or maybe it's a yeast or maybe it's a fungus. Um, there's a whole host of things that could be going on, but number one, your body's immune system is going down a little bit, so that can be um, kind of a trigger for acne to pop up. Second of all, when your body is lowered in your immunity and say maybe your gut health isn't super um, resilient or isn't really necessarily able to handle a lot of stress, those hormones that are going on inside of your body, while necessary, your body doesn't necessarily know how to process them, metabolize them, and like work through them efficiently. Because we do need those hormones. We do need those hormones in order to release our egg. And if we are planning on getting pregnant, we need those hormones in order to keep the baby. And then if we're just having like a normal period, obviously those hormones are gonna like naturally cycle out and flush away. Um, and sometimes our bodies aren't necessarily like well equipped or we're just not able to handle that stress at that time of the that specific month or maybe that specific time of our life um, because maybe your liver is burdened, your gallbladder is burdened, maybe both, maybe you're just not detoxifying properly, your detoxification detox pathways might be a little bit clogged. So there's a lot that can be going on. There's a lot of reasons why you could possibly have hormonal acne, but those are some of the like very basic and then obviously if your gut health is not intact, then 100% your body isn't able to properly deal with the hormones while also dealing with digestion, while also dealing with like a lowered immune system. There's just kind of like a compounding effect and your body can kind of say like, well, this is like, this is the least of my worries because truthfully your body is worried more about your hormones and bigger pathogens or invaders and getting your immune system up than like a blemish on your skin, unfortunately, which I know sucks. But <laughs> there are ways in order to help support your body to really be able to handle that time of the month efficiently and effectively. And especially if you are not regular, that is also an indication that something is up. Now, that might mean we need to do a little bit more testing to see where your hormones are and that's something that I'm definitely never opposed to because you do need to get some insight as to what's going on inside of your body. Um, and testing is the best way to do that. So those are kind of like the major red flags that I normally look at when working with a client who is dealing with hormonal acne. And it is definitely 
very much possible to get it under control and to eventually have a period where maybe you don't wake up in the morning and have an extra buddy along for the ride. So that is all I have for you today. If you have any questions about what we just talked about, throw them in the comment section below or you can also DM me. But other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye.